wild, you know? There's, there's people who are doing this show who have moved from all across Canada to be a part of this production. And I'm lucky enough that it's, it's on my home ground. It's, it's in my little red island. So <laughs> it's, it's wonderful to be able to be a part of not only this anniversary year, but sharing the stage with so many island performers. Your island, your island, your from Prince Edward Island. My favorite part was learning the step dancing, the PEI step dancing. It just feels like we're all a community when we're dancing together like that, and it's, it's really special. So. Your island, your island, your from Prince Edward Island. It's 20 years of uh, wonderful memories, and more than anything, 20 years of uh, people being overjoyed in the lobby after the show. And none, I would say, more magical than this season. Uh, we've just watched a dress rehearsal here, and uh, yeah, maybe after 20 years, it takes a little bit more to take my breath away when my breath was taken away. This story recognizes that before you can have true, profound love, you have to have a good friendship. And what could I possibly wager against the easiest gold piece I'm ever going to win? Just your heart, Anne. That's all I've ever wanted. We are at um, the final dress rehearsal of Anne and Gilbert in this amazing auditorium. It's the third year at this venue at Holland College at Florence Simmons Performance Hall. And more than 20 years ago, my friends Jeff Hockhauser, Nancy White, and Bob Johnson had written this extraordinary musical, Lucy Bob Montgomery's source material, is an extraordinary thing. That As I read this Anne of Avonlea and Anne of the Island, one song cue after another kept occurring to me. And if a song cues occur to you, you've got a musical. It's, it's about Anne and Gilbert, it's about their community, it's about their world. And really, it's the love story of Anne and Gilbert. Anne and Gilbert are growing up now. They're a little bit older. They're teaching and going off to university. Follows her trying to become this mature young woman and fighting against, you know, her, her redhead ways. <laughs> um, and of course, Gilbert and their school house banter turning from that into something more. I love this show. I've been with the show for years. And to be able to play this character which I have held to such high standards and to has, have learned to love for so many years as an Islander, it means so much to me to be able to continue and to perform not only with the show but, but as Anne. I was at the first reading of this play way back, over 20 years ago, and to think that Rebecca was born after that experience and has lived on this island and has been in this production I think seven times, this woman is profoundly talented. When Apple was a sweet young thing. And then to bring her with Grayson, who is, um, he's from away, you know, <laughs> just, just, just over the pond. But um, uh, to hear, first of all, practically those two voices together, they are yin and yang, they are made to be heard together. It's a delightful, uh, largely island, uh, very young, uh, engaged, positive group of people that are loaded with talent. Good things get discovered and, and great things get noticed and, and this is a, a great piece of writing. It's why, you know, now it's the best-selling play in Atlantic Canada, full stop. Uh, it's the most popular play in Atlantic Canada and that's because it's good and it, and it pleases people. In the last couple of years there's been two sold-out runs in Australia that we licensed. This is going to sound hokey, but it makes people cry with happiness. I and mean, people are actually weeping with happiness at the end of the show. See, the show is definitely an embodiment of the Maritimes, and for people all over the world who, who are coming to see this show, it's, it's definitely, it feels special for them to see a bit of what, what we're about here. I think they, they leave feeling the love that all Islanders give to those from away. You know, it's such, it's such a show with a soul to it. There's so much love in the show and you just leave here not only singing the songs, but, but feeling what all Islanders feel.